What's going on, people? Your boy Dougie here. We back with another video. Um, shout out to Break Your Banquet for the video. It's a debate, I guess. Uh, wings versus Keemstar. So this should be spicy, you know. You know, because you know how Keemstar is, right? Um, shout out to Break Your Banquet for the video. And we have six hundred and sixty-six subscribers right now, man. And if you're a religious person, that's six six six. We can't have. I mean, you don't gotta be religious. I ain't religious, but you six six six. You can't have that, man. We need a subscriber, somebody to change that. From a 66 to a 67 so you know we can be on good graces <laughs> let's get right on to the video Terrain. say my name breaking banquet you're goddamn right surely some people have bought tickets and flights already i personally completed canceled a one slash two month travel plans to south america so i could come of course, other fans took time off of work and canceled. Oh, yeah, it's about a meetup, right? Yeah, the fan meetup shit. Okay, okay. Trips and plans, bought retro Palooza tickets, told their families that they are leaving, etc. I think we should still go. I think the trip should be back on. Bro, you can't, you can't 180. You can't 180 no. right now. I know, right I will, now. Yes, I can. Dude, yeah, he's already it. issued refunds well, to people. Stupid. Now, what are they going to buy another ticket after he's? Okay, we well, yeah, don't got to go. I'm just saying, like, let's just. I'm not gonna, where is this coming from now? Let's let's get into this. Let's just talk about it now. Fuck it. Yeah. All right. Let's talk, talk about, about it now. All right. Um, Wings, you yes. put out multiple statements out on Twitter saying that you're not going. That it's going to cost you like thirteen hundred dollars or something. I put out one statement. Okay. Okay. Read, read it. Go back and read it. Can I you put out one. Wings don't seem like the type to do a fan meetup. He just don't. Tweet. Read it for us. I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the just of it. The just was like, I can't find it. I can't find an airplane ticket. All every ticket I find is fourteen hundred dollars. I don't feel like this trip is worth fourteen to two thousand dollars to me. So I might have to back out. That's the just of it. It might not be in that correct wording. I, I got it. I'm gonna read it. I'm oh, going to back out of the Texas trip for Loco. The cheapest plane ticket I can find is $1,400. And I'm not and spending he got the receipts to go to some gaming convention with no upside. Yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. And, and, then, like, and then I did a quick Google search from Myrtle Beach, which is... I mean, I feel like you when you do something like that, it's not about the money at that point. You just doing that shit for the fans, the people who actually support you, especially somebody like you, Wings, where you got a whole group of people, a whole community of people who do not like you. So the few that do and the few that support you and shit, that keep your lights on, that help you keep your lights on, they, you know what I mean? You kind of, you know, you don't owe it to them because it's a fan meetup, but like you gotta, you know what I mean? Do it for your fans. It's not really about the money. Is your airport to Houston and oh, it was, shit. uh, let me see. How much was it? Oh, 240, uh, $242. Uh-oh. Hey, click on it. Well, I can't. I know you're bad at this. I can't. It's a screenshot. You know, I know you're bad at this because you, you read my flight to London and it cost me almost 300 bucks. Okay. I'm doing it right now. Wait, I have American what are you Airlines. About? Damn, they roasting, they roasting wings. That's the, but you know, real friends gonna tell you what you want to hear, not what you. I mean, tell you what you need to hear, need to hear, not what you want to hear, right? So that's how real. You put me in London. Real, so they going you know, coming into and leaving London, which is two and a half hours outside of London. Okay, help me out. And help me out. And the it train did, was on strike. Help me out. It says Myrtle Beach to Houston, May twenty fifth to May twenty seventh. Right, and if you click it, that's one way ticket. Right. Then you got to You got to time that by <laughs> two and then they add the fees in like that $280 ticket. That's got to be thought. What you got a thousand dollars in fees wings. What you, I what guarantee you, you ends up being a no, thousand it, or no, $1, you don't have to times it times two. It's it, that includes the round trip. Wings, 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 you're no, saying no, this I'm taking like, Kelly too. wings. You're saying this like we don't buy flights. There's no way. Yeah. And look, I'm, I'm doing it right now. They got them. American airline leaving Friday, coming in, coming home Monday. Leaving at 5:44 p.m., uh, which is a, a 1:56 p.m. is a little more expensive, but $500 round trip, and so uh, it'd be a thousand for you and Kelly. Now that's basic economy, I guess. If you want to check a bag, I mean, damn, I don't even like boogie like that. You know, y'all know me, man. But hey, he even got your wings. So what's up? So uh, you went from you know just you know just you. That'll be for $1,400. Nah, it come to find out, it'd be a thousand for you and Kelly round trip. Round trip. 
You know what I mean? But it seems like Williams is doing what he thinks he's good at is moving the goalpost. So he's going to try to look. I mean, look at that smug look he got right now. He's going to think it's something to, you know, move the goalpost a little bit. And other shit. He's well, going to be a little a bit more. But it, that's a thousand. All right. Now check a bag one time or well, two times. Actually, that's 160. That's 1160. Now we got to, we don't have any way to the hotel. So now we got to. No, Uber. I arranged for rides. You have no idea, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 by, no. By the way, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say this right now. Hold on, let me finish this. Okay. If it's okay, let me give a shout out to the fucking con organizers, by the way, because I don't know if you understand how bad this has fucked me. This is a 10 year relationship. And I went on the fucking line for him. He's issuing refunds. He paid to advertise. Here's what it's, this has cost me, okay? I normally ask for an appearance fee. I've waived the appearance fee to try to make things good to offset his refunds costs. So this is coming out of my pocket. Well, this is coming out of my pocket. I I've done that I, I to can, not burn this book. I can tell you this. We will make it right to them. Yeah, why does his beard look so damn fake? Like, I've never seen a beard just look like it was painted on. Why does the beard look like that? We'll promote it. Yeah. We'll push it. We'll, we'll look, Boogie's going to be there. Can I finish my saying? Can I finish my saying? I'm, I'm going to finish my statement. Yeah, go We're ahead. 1160. At the time of that tweet came out, I kept asking for three days in a row, what's the itinerary? You give me this docket that tells me where it is. And inside that particular docket says, I am responsible for travel to and from the airport in that docket by itself. So yeah, that well, means I either got to rent a car or Uber everywhere I want to go for two days. Guys, look, at the end of the day, Wings. Oh, man. The, if, if there's any. At, the at the end of the day, Keemstar, you made the call because you made a call on 20 minutes worth of fallout. Because within 20 minutes, I took that tweet down and said, never mind, it's back on. Somebody help me find cheaper tickets. Because many Titans. Well, no, nah, Keem got to do his best for, you know, what was best for business. If he sees that one of his employees or whatever you want to call it, you know, it, it, it's, it's about the flake. He's about to cancel. You know what I mean? But, I mean, if I'm assuming that Keem reached out to Wings first and was like, hey, man, why you feel like this? Instead of just jumping to conclusions. I don't know. That's that is kind of strange. Help me find a seven hundred dollar thirty round trip ticket on American Airlines. Well, I'll tell you my point of view. This is what happened. I seen you backing out. I'm like, I don't want to fucking deal with this. This is bullshit. Um, and then I found out that that weekend was Memorial Day, and I didn't know. But I had a I have a family function that I go to every Memorial Day. I didn't know it was Memorial Day weekend. Ah, so okay. I said to myself. Why fucking be bothered with this fucking headache of trying to convince Wings? And I'm dealing with all kinds of fans that are saying, well, Keemstar should just pay for it. Apparently, there's a bunch of communists and fucking socialists nope. that are fans of this fucking show that like, oh, I can afford it, so I got to pay for everything for fucking Wings. Boogie told me that the, the guy was going to... I mean, it ain't about, you know, the socialism or any type of shit like that, but if you got the bread, you got the bread. You know what I mean? If you got that kind of money that it ain't gonna break you, then yeah, you should. If you want it to happen bad enough, then yeah, you know? I'm gonna be pissed. And I said, well, look, Boogie's still going. We'll promote the event. Go there. See Boogie. Yep. We so can you're admitting <laughs> that you made the call to cancel it because I was back on because yes. I made it to you because I, I go, look, I got a flight, but it comes in at 9 a.m. I need to know when I can check into the hotel. Yes, I, I had am to make admitting, plans. Yes, I Usual am admitting. check in times. Yes, I am admitting that I made the call because one, Tommy's not going Two, you're not going and I'm not dealing with all this shit. Do you understand that I set up a fucking boxing match with you and Boogie and I had to field fucking questions about you leaving your home like every two seconds? Like, I'm not doing that again, bro. <laughs> You're like almost 40 years old, bro. Like the, I'm the also a 400 pound land monster, so flying is an issue for me make an event airport. that i can drive to yeah, but listen listen even you sitting there being like making a big i never deal thought about that like his size and traveling and shit i never really thought about that to be honest with you that probably is difficult for him what am i gonna get from the airport to I my hotel to that is such an easy thing to accomplish for any fucking adult right why do why do the fans why does boogie why does tommy why do me have to hear you talking about that you can't solve this problem wings that is How true how old are you like Jordy, it's, so it's 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 17 hours. 21. It's 21 no, hours. No, I just googled it. Google Myrtle it Beach. Myrtle Google Beach. It again. It's 21 Texas. hours. 17 hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> That's what Google's telling me right now. I <laughs> drive 17 hours every year to go to Michaels. 
I have a convention right outside of Michael's house. I drive for 17 hours every year to go to that. I have I had a, a, a convention. Driving 17 hours is crazy. I drive eight hours to this one. Boogie, you also don't have I, a job. My wife has to pick time for all for these events. So, like, yeah, if I do, if saying, I drive it for 17 hours day, there, 17 hours back. Well, she don't necessarily have to go. She has to take an extra day off work, or she I've has driven, to go back to work groggy. I've driven 17 hours at a time. Right, but I, what about this event is worth 17 hours? Well, not even 17 hours. What is that? Almost over 30 hours of driving? Yeah, but you already called it. You already called it. You couldn't use Google Flights and find a reasonable uh, ticket. Motherfucker, I'm you 400 pounds. Right. I've been on a... Been on a <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker. Plane I'm three sorry. times in my life, and all two of the three were your doing. Like the only other plane I went on was to Mexico to get my stomach cut out, and my mother set that one up. So this was my first time ever having to book my own big boy. So it don't seem like he don't, like wings don't want to put in the time and effort to try to figure out, you know what I mean? To, to, to dot his eyes and cross his T's, you, you know, because he's always had somebody holding his hand doing shit for him. So when it comes to stuff like managing from you know the airport to the hotels and shit like that he don't want to do that he can't manage that kind of shit that's crazy so so you're admitting that this is this is an adulting issue i would what i'm admitting to is right? i was looking for help with plane tickets which i asked for help in our chat privately and everybody ignored it i asked boogie multiple times for itinerary help everybody ignored it so i'm like fuck it i'm gonna make an issue so somebody helps me with these fucking tickets Tommy and Boogie, can you please help me out? Do you understand how frustrating it is for a grown adult to be like, well, I don't know how I'm getting from the airport to the hotel and make that a thing? Like, I, why yeah, that is I know weird. how I'm going to do it. It's going to be, here's how I'm going to do it. It's going to be this thing right here. But that is like the most insane thing. And this is what it's like when that is weird. Up like uh, some type of trip for you. Like the fighting thing, it was like every fucking question. Well, are the meals at the hotel for free? Is that, like, bro, like, what the fuck is going on? Well, first off, first off, it, it's got nothing to do with me unable to afford it. I can afford the plane ticket, right? My thought was I didn't feel like the trip was worth the amount of money I was paying that, for. Oh, why would you say that publicly? Yeah, because that's that's the reason for being like, yo, this this ain't worth twenty five hundred dollars. I understand it's the truth, but you know what it looks like. But right? Tommy, you yeah. you said the same shit like this trip. <laughs> I this, did that publicly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I, again, let me blow myself up here for a second because I love to talk about myself. Um, I love well, that you do, boogie. Exhausting twelve hour days, sitting there shaking hands and doing autographs and and meeting people. You weren't even ha supposed to do that part. You were just show up at a panel and then spend the rest of the time eating good food with your wife in Houston. Damn, so he wasn't even supposed to be doing the shaking your hands. And I'm sure people are going to go up to him and shake his hand and do all the signature shit. Don't know why, but people are people. Um, But damn, so he had to, he didn't even have to do that part. The 12 hours just sitting there. Hey, how you doing? This, this, this. Hey, how you doing? This, this, this. He didn't even have to do that, man. Come on. And going oh, to free parties done, and going to barcades I, and eating fucking. Oh, I wouldn't food. have done that shit. <laughs> you wouldn't have eaten food? What you're gonna no, fucking fast the entire weekend? What I do at London, Boogie? I sat in my room. That's what I would have done. I would have went. No, to you guys went out to room. restaurants. I know you went out and ate. Yup. Talk that shit, you Boogie. You had a chauffeur there too, by the way. Talk that shit, I, I was Boogie. Gonna drive your ass. I was gonna drive your oh. ass. I, I when I go to these conventions, you can <laughs> that car be like this. <laughs> John Riggs, all these other people that are, don't the rent a car at these conventions. If I have a, I drive there, it's a fucking Toyota Corolla. It's roomy, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Desi would have to about, sit behind I, me. I'll just be honest. Desi would have to be the one to sit behind I, I, me. I was, I was going to be worried more about the tires than the actual room in the car. Well, I, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying I show for other creators around so that we can go out and go to clubs and eat food and go to arcades. And well, that's what I do. Like, that's okay, why I'm there. I'm there to socialize. I have a good was, time. You're acting me like I, like I didn't say like 20 minutes later, like, good. Never mind. I'm back in. Let's go. Let's well, you just keep this. saying how it's not you worth it. Okay. Why didn't you say to us in the DM? I did. I did. But what, what caused you to publicly tweet? Smoking a bogey, bro. Like that's so nasty, man. Cigarettes are so gross, man. Tweet that you weren't going because I needed help with plane tickets. That is then why not just ask for help? I didn't need help. Playing yeah, that's plane a bogey for sure. I need help 
finding plane tickets because somebody on a spur of a moment moment made a Memorial Day weekend trip, which plane tickets cost exponentially more. You want, okay, how much cheaper is five hundred going to be than five hundred dollars? I actually do want to give Boogie some blame here because how come we asked you when it is and you said end of May? If you would have said, I, it, I put you together a docket with hotels, hold on, addresses, hold phone on, numbers. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Uh oh. At no point did you ever say Memorial Day weekend. That's what you I don't know said. when the fuck Memorial Day weekend is. Do I look it's like so you celebrate You don't know Memorial, Memorial Day? Day weekend? It's to honor the troops and like, what? I think, I think the Memorial Day weekend. See, I will get this shit wrong too because I don't know. I think that's the last weekend of May, right? I think that's what it is. I don't know. It's, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really celebrate it. But I think it's the last weekend of May. Are you even? Oh, oh yeah. The one time I tweeted something on Memorial Day, I got somebody's name fucking wrong or their date of, of death wrong, and I've suffered for it ever since. So I don't fucking think <laughs> about Memorial it's Day. I don't fucking the, think about Veterans Bucky, Day anymore. It is one I got of my the most important for. holidays in the fucking. It's one of the most important holidays in the goddamn country. It's yeah. why you've been able to That's fucking weird, live in a goddamn house and be 500 fucking pounds. Because yeah, motherfuckers I think my went dad, out there. My fucking dad served. Tommy served. I'm nice okay, to every veteran so I meet. You're, you're if a veteran dead, comes to this event, I'll be nice to a veteran. Oh I mean, just because you don't know when Memorial Day weekend is doesn't mean that you're not nice to veterans. I mean, you know what I mean? Some people just don't celebrate that shit. Don't you know that's not this is special bullshit holiday you could you could you could pay your respects and, and appreciate what somebody did and not like celebrate you know what i mean who gives a fuck about a, a day it's just a day i don't need a day to tell me to do the, the right way, thing i, I don't need I, a I'm day not, to tell me to be nice to a troop i'm not dead by the way it's memorial day i'm not dead but you guys <laughs> you guys you guys can go to my social medias go to my social medias that's crazy. every memorial day there's a service i go down to with these troops that were in world war ii and freaking vietnam that i go there it's a whole ceremony we do in our town it's a big deal and i would have i would have sucked it up and missed this year i would have right but when i see him fucking saying oh this is too expensive and all that and i know the headaches that i'm about to deal with trying to get wings to go to this thing that's when i fucking pull the plug and i go i'm out I'm ne i was never a headache trying to get to go to london or any other event uh oh just because I, I i i flaked on a fucking survival trip 14 years well wings asking a billion questions it's kind of like a headache you know what i mean especially with no one else like Boogie is not bombarding you with a million damn questions to go <laughs> because like, yeah, a 400 pound man wants to get lost in the Yari national forest. How okay. many people sign it up for that shit? <laughs> when we reschedule this thing and inevitably we will, Jordy, can you put your hand on the Wendy's Bible right now no. and say, no, you will make it happen. Before we get to that, I have a better the Wendy's solution. Bible is crazy. We are never, ever announcing another fucking fan meetup another anything ever again <laughs> for our fans to come see it's us. weird before you announce some shit like that you got to make sure that everything is in order like 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 keem this one's on you because what y'all should have did was make sure everybody was on the same page flights were damn near booked everything was good for you know before you announce some shit you know what i mean make sure wings Got all his baby and pampering or whatever he did. 40 million questions are taken care of. Make sure that all that shit, you know what I mean, is taken care of before you announce some shit. Because if you announce some shit too early and someone flakes out, I ain't going to name no names. <clears throat> this kind of shit's going to happen. Without flights being booked. Yep. Flights, yep. everything has to be organized behind the scenes before That's we it. announce anything i'm we're exactly not, can, I put another, can i put another stipulation out there because oh no stipulation I've heard the grapevine that we're supposed to be doing some type of fat camp and i was never addressed in this I'm, well i mean we i'm don't working have that, on it i'm working yeah, we on don't it. have that booked yet but and and in the future fat it's, camp well, is crazy I ain't gonna lie. It's like we're making plans without everybody mm -hmm. being on board we're talking about them we're talking yeah. Well, yeah. I don't, yeah i understand like i like the idea realize overnight they should be talking amongst themselves though like they shouldn't be it shouldn't just you got four people up here it shouldn't just be two people you know coming up with idea they should be you know they in this as a whole so they should be making these decisions as a whole you know what i mean but like i thought it'd be more fun if it was a, a mukbang camp yeah and i will say uh jordy <laughs> if we do reschedule something like this i have a website that'll uh help you a lot if it comes to booking a flight in the future you uh it's called write this down it's google google.com 
Yeah, I just That's go to so Google stupid. Flights. Right on the fucking thing. Motherfucker, I, I don't know if you know this. Motherfucker. I'm a recluse. <laughs> you don't know what Google is? How fucking recluse do, are you? I don't do know, know what the, Google is. I, have, but, I don't, like I said, I've been on a flight three times and two of them, Keemstar got me on. Okay, Wang, do me a favor. Do you have Google on your um, computer right there? Well, yes, I do. Okay. I have Google on my computer. Okay, just type this in. All right. All right. I got type you. flight from Myrtle Beach to Houston, May 25th to May 27th. And it gave me, sent me to Expedia. Are you sure? It should have brought flights right up right there. <laughs> well, it says flight, <laughs> type to Google, flight from Myrtle Beach to Houston, May 25 to 27. Well, you now have to tip, you now have to. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's under all the ads. It's under all yeah, the ads. So yeah. So there is. Yeah. We right don't there. know how to Google, bro. What are we doing right now? You see him. What's the price? You don't know how to Google. Uh, da, 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 da. It says from, well, Spirit doesn't work because they, it, it's not gonna work. So, Bruh, the cheapest one's three ninety three. Yeah. And so it's probably uh, went up. But again, three ninety three is not bad. Yeah, but that's it's not three hundred ninety three dollars. Traveling Memorial Day weekend, I looked it up. It was gonna be about five oh eight per person. So it wasn't gonna be like a, a dirt cheap flight or anything. But it wasn't gonna Richard be that bad. Samuel Jordan. Let me, is let me do this for you. It's fine. This is what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna promote <laughs> this event every yeah. single stream. Every single fucking upload from yep. here on out. All right. We're going to give them all their flowers. Uh, we're going to send people there. Boogie's going to be there. And while Boogie's there, mm -hmm. he's going to be streaming live directly to Local Live. We'll try to make it good with them. We'll try to set that up. Yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll try to make it good with them. But yeah. Nobody, there's no point did I say that I couldn't afford the plane ticket. At yes. no point did I say that. I said the. I mean, you kind of. Uh... Uh, money I would have to spend wasn't worth the trip. Oh, well, and, and those look, are two different things. Like just because you say something ain't worth it, doesn't mean that you can't afford it. So those are two different things. I do agree with him there. Look at this trip as something that's going to be fun. I look at this trip as me getting in a sardine, being stuck next to my wife in the back of a fucking economy plane, having people that might want to fist fight me on the plane, going to Houston. Having to pay X out my ass for people. He worried about that fist fight. People to drive me around to hotels to stay in a holiday fucking inn. Hope I don't it's get a, a room nice with bed in. bugs. It's a nice holiday inn. Hope I don't get fucking bed bugs. And then I got bed bugs. And then I got then I got to go around and and like talk <laughs> to people stupid. and yeah, like sit on panels and shit like that. And then at that point, you just looking for reasons not to go, bro. The whole time I'm there, I'm ready to go to fuck back home. Bro, you went you went and fought Boogie, right? The whole time yeah. you're there, you were loving life. People are coming up to you. They want pictures with you. You're doing interviews. Yep. I've yep. never seen you so fucking happy. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, not a, I'm not a people person. I'm, I'm an That's wild. Person. You say that until you're surrounded by people, and then you loved it. This motherfucker came out singing to Kid Rock. He was loving life. What are you talking about? He did, I'm a, too. I, I, I got to admit, I'm a showman. What? He said, I'm a showman. Come on, bro. Come on, man. $200 to turn my webcam back on. Yeah, real showman life. I will do what needs to be due to make shit entertaining. But like, at the, but you also showman is crazy. I stayed in my hotel most of the time. Yeah, TripAdvisor gives this holiday in four stars, by the way. It's immaculate. Okay, we're, I, let's, let's move on. He got mad that he roasted his uh, holiday in. <laughs> But that's the video, y'all. I hope you guys have a good one. Until the next time, I'm out. Peace.